Hello, this is Lordog, and this is a game called I Am Alive. And uh, I can confirm I am alive. And if you're watching this, then you are alive, which is all good, so we're all alive. Now, it's a game that came out around about September of 2012 for uh, Windows. It's on Steam. Excellent little game. I think anyway. Now I've had a little go at it because I don't like it when somebody is basically running around for 20 minutes trying to work out how to even jump. So I've had a go, got used to the controls, probably about 10 minutes in gameplay, something like that, and then I've left it. So now I'm going to start a new game, I'm going to start it on normal. Now, um, basically, I'm doing this because I might do a let's play of it, so I'm going to do an episode. And if you guys like the look of it, then let me know either in comment or by clicking the like button. Either way will tell me. And if I get enough people like it or, you know, say they like it or whatever, then I will continue to do a let's play of it. If not, then we'll leave it. Because it's just the um, don't starve. It's kind of open-ended. That just ends when you die. And if you get established, you might never die on it. So I wanted something like Magna Carta that will come to an end, like an LP. So, uh, yeah, let me know. So, in normal mode, you will get more resources and retries, but you can't unlock certain achievements and score bonuses that you would get if you're in a, a harder mode in the survival one. So, we're going to, but we're going to go normal because it's hard enough as it is. So, uh, let's get started. I was really impressed with this. It's a very, to say that it's, very basically there's been an event that's what they call it. it an event and it's like some kind of catastrophe that's gone off and there's uh, big clouds of dust everywhere and there's earthquakes and some kind of natural disaster obviously or something like that i'd say and uh and basically it's better guy him here I'm just going to put his audio up a little bit. Oh, I'm not, not yet. I'll have increased the volume on that in editing, so but I'll increase the speaking volume a little bit more. So basically, this guy was away, and this event happened, and he's come back home now to find his... Uh, he's come back home now to find his family. So let's see uh, about getting him home. It's, it, to say, you know, that it's... Uh, to say that it's, everything's desolate... It's actually really, really pretty in the way it looks how it should do. Everything looks busted up and broken like you'd expect. Haven't in traffic. Oh, no, I missed it. Okay. So, we can tab to find the map. So, here we are, this guy here. And we've got to go to here. Arbor Street. 
Let's carry on. It's very much a platformer game, but it's got more to it than just that. There is more to it than just that. There's a psychological parts to it as well. Okay, so we're going to go climbing. Now, the thing is, if you look at the top, I can't stop, but if you look at the top, there's a white bar. It's counting down. That is my stamina. See? Build, climbing burns stamina. If you burn too much stamina, you will fall. Now, what happens is, when that goes down... Can I get up? When that goes down to nothing, that bar... Uh, I get a certain amount of time then, really, to get kind of down, or I will fall. So, that's basically how it works. See, there's a bit coming up I can stand it, but and space will let me climb. Now, that bar will build back up. There you go. And now I'm back, I'm fine again. My stamina's back. But yeah, it can, uh, you get like, but you've got to tap the left mouse button quickly while basically still climbing and that's the last bit of energy that you're expanding then to uh, to try and get to safety and if you don't then you will fall and die and then it won't be a case of I am alive but I am dead there you go so his movement's nice it moves very fluid it's not jerky at all. It feels very nice when it moves. So, here? Is it here? Looks like it. Okay. Yep, good. Okay, up we go. Oh, you got it. There you go. Looks like I'll have to climb over those arch supports. Oh, more climbing. So up we go. Now you can do a big jump, like if you if there's a gap, like that there's a gap. So press space and you climb, but you lose a big chunk of your stamina from it. So you've got to be wary of doing that. You don't want to do it too often. So it's going to make me do it again. But luckily there's a place here I can stand, so I'll get my stamina back. There we go. So my stamina build back up. Now we, no, let's go. That's it. Yeah. Drop down again. Now we get moving again. See, it's very fluid. I, I do like it when it moves like this. So, yes, I know it's starting to come down again. Got to get somewhere safe quickly. Come around. Uh, I can't see where to go. See, it's telling me I've got to get somewhere now to uh, to get up, or I'm in trouble. See, it's going to be my first death. <laughs> Whee! Do you know how to drop from here? There you go. That's because I got stuck. You see, you cannot take you cannot take that that much time. Well, sometimes it's not. That was something I real. I reckon. I recognised when I was playing it. Uh, sometimes it's not always exactly easy to see where to go. They don't make it like on some games. They'll like you can see here. These bars I'm climbing along are very like lit up grey, and so I go up here, and then it was just hard to see. Everything looked exactly the same, so it was hard to see where to go, and I couldn't see any grey bars to lock onto because they were on the other side. And even now, if you look, it's coming down now. It's going to be close. So I'm going to have to do a jump. So, let's just climb up here. But I made it. <sighs> Here's our backpack. Okay, so. Food cans will fill up our hill. This is our health, this red bar. It'll also fill up this 
uh, the outer bar again, the one that's come down, whereas water will fill up the actual your actual stamina inside it. So uh, if you look, let me just show you again. This bar has actually come down. Look at the white bar at the top. It's now always going to be that that short until I eat something or drink something to lift it up again. And this uh, this will this will extend the bar back. You see, and now I take it off and it'll fill up to full again. So there you go. You've only got a certain amount of retries, but you can boost them up. Yeah, I've done that by saving victims or helping victims out. Well, it's still standing. Though Abington has seen better days. So there'll be victims so far, you know, at different places in the game. I think there's, I'm, I'm not sure, I think there's tw about 20 in all. And each time you save one, you'll get a retry added on. So it is best to try and, try and help them. Here we go. Okay. Push the truck and oh yeah, there. Press space. And we're gonna go like monkey bars. And lift. 